I never felt like my gift was being the best rapper. My gift was always being able to get souls to harmonize, mm -hmm. getting people to be in the room and build and form masterminds together. That was always my gift. Coming off of Art of War, again, you start Mo Thug, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I feel like <clears throat> during that time, you know, you of course you had the the emergence. Well, actually, Mo Thug was before Art of War. Okay, the the Mo Thug uh, the release first one, the first one, the was Family in Scriptures. Ninety six. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right because it had then, uh, 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 Thug Devotion. Yeah, and uh, Ghetto Blues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What what prompted y'all to start this conglomerate? Because y'all had a lot of motherfuckers with y'all, like that album cover with all the niggas and fatigues and all that. You had Soldier Boy. Um. Uh. Uh. What was the uh, Queen? Uh, uh, the Queen. The Soldier Queen. Soldier Boy. Uh. Poor Graveyard. Ship. Graveyard. Mm -hmm. ship. Was these all niggas that you grew up with? Mm hmm. So, you know, we had like I said, we had our first, our first album was independent in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So, we was already famous and we was already popular on the scene in Cleveland mm -hmm. because we did a lot of uh, talent show circuits. Right. All the different talent shows in Cleveland, <clears throat> Bone played them things. Mm -hmm. So we was cool with all the artists around the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we and and we all made a pact that whoever would make it mm -hmm. would come, you know, mm -hmm. would come back come and back get and people. Get you know okay. what I'm saying? So okay. I had Mo Thug mm -hmm. on Faces of Death. Mm -hmm. If you read the inside of them credits, it's a shout out to my Mo Thug artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was already. Yeah. I was already on that, and then <clears throat> the opportunity came after E passed away. Mm -hmm. I got to meet Cliff Contrary and um, Cliff Contrary and Alan Grumblack up at Root at Relativity. Uh, shout out to Alan Grumblack, so, still around. So from there, I parlayed a, a record. But mm -hmm. even and the reason why I was able to parlay that into a a, a little deal mm -hmm. was because Easy E had let me send for, he paid for all them niggas to come out to uh, California. Mm. It was like 20 niggas from Cleveland out mm -hmm. here with us. All the first <clears throat> Mo Thug you see on that, on the uh, first Mo Thug yeah. record, mm -hmm. Easy e was footing that bill. Wow. You know what I mean? So wow. we was, I was already mm. working on other music. Yeah. And, cause, and that's what, you know, it was like, mm. we was gonna come back and help whoever was down with us and we just you know and I, so i held up to that y'all basically used the first two mo thug records to break because they were like compilations mm -hmm. uh mo thug compilations to break and introduce the other artists but using the influence of bone thugs and harmony right to bring the attention to it because that first album went platinum mm -hmm. right in the first and second yeah so i mean i mean but think about that that's that's not an easy feat you niggas is five niggas out of cleveland you you really are learning the business, you know, and you're able to release two platinum compilations right. on your own label. Right. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> And then and then too, I wanna since we there, let me add the fact that, man, I almost went number one on that um on that first Mo Thug. Mm -hmm. The only reason it is it, it it debuted at number two behind Pop. All mm. eyes on me. Mm. The only reason that nigga Pac beat us that time is because he had just passed. Mm. Okay. So Thug debut right there, right at not nah, man. We was, was that on, the single Thug Devotion or the album? The album. The album. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, you can and, look it up. It's all <laughs> documented. And the thing about it with that first Mo Thug, and even with the second one, like you really what you as in lazy, you really wasn't on a whole lot of songs. Mm -hmm. on, on on those albums, what 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 was that attributed to? I mean, it's really attributed to I'm the CEO. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be on a lot of songs. I got a lot of niggas that rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I could throw an idea. I could start a song and give a song away, or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. I'm I'm in ten different sessions all day, every day. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, my dream is happening. Right. So, so my gift. I never felt like my gift was being the best rapper. My gift was always being able to get souls to harmonize, mm -hmm. getting people to be in the room and build and form masterminds together. Mm -hmm. That was always my gift. 
Yeah, no, I feel that. What 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 was your favorite song personally on on the first Mo Thug? Mm. Well, you know, Thug Devotion was really yeah. one. Ghetto Blues with Two True. Yeah, yeah. I like that, that song was dope. that I did with them. Um, man, I liked it that whole album. Yeah, I like Crazy Bone when he did. We ain't said no names. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, like that whole thing. So. You know, you know what song I, I liked on uh, <clears throat> what was that end song? The one, uh, uh, it was the very last one. It was a posse cut. Mm -hmm. uh, what crazy come on? On eternal? No, no. This is on Motha Family Scripture, the first one. I can't remember it, but everybody was on the song. Cause you, as a matter of fact, I think you cheated. Family reunion. Hold on, hold on. You cheated, my nigga. Huh. Because you said a verse. I think you said. Uh, uh, you said your verse from Thuggish Ruggish on that song. Nah, I switched it up. But you, but you said most of it though, right? Yeah, most of the verse. Yeah, yeah. And I think I was saying, um, it was the one where Crazy come in. Uh, what? Tell him you in no, danger, Buster you in danger. danger. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, it was the road with the bone mo thug on follow. Is, yes, is what yep. I is what yep. I was trying to portray. Yeah. Mm hmm. I, mean, I guess you could say I cheated. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, a <laughs> right. little bit, a little bit. On the on the second one, what was your your favorite song? One of um, your favorite songs. Man, it's so man. We got so many songs, mm -hmm. man. I I really don't. How well? Let me ask you this musically. How did Believe come about? Because that's one of my favorite songs on that. So Believe was a group yeah. called MT Five. Yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. That's one of too. my favorite songs on there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm, in the, on I'm, that I'm in the process of making the album. So bringing those <laughs> those <laughs> titles back to my mind, I'm yeah. kind of slow right yeah. now. But that Believe was a song called MT Five. My cousin Rob J. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Found this group, Five Brothers. Mm -hmm. Harmonies was crazy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And they came and they um they sung the chorus to mm -hmm. us. And then me and Ann was like, nigga, we gotta get on that one right yeah, there. Yeah, I still listen to that one to this yeah, day. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, I love yeah, that song. Yeah, yeah. What about, is that the same album that uh, All Good was on? All Good was on, yeah. That was a big hit. Yeah, that All Good. Hit. I think that was at, at the Family top scriptures. for like eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Oh, Ghetto Cowboy was on that Ghetto song. Ghetto Cowboy with, uh, what was the white boy name? Um, uh, Powder P. Powder P. The name's Powder, Powder P. Powder P with a Can 12 gauge. Outlaw <laughs> Where y'all find Powder P, bro? <laughs> Man, you that's a, that's a question for Crazy Bone right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a question for Crazy. All right, so, so now you got these Mo Thug uh, albums dropping. You got, um, you coming off of the success of Art of War. And then we coming into the new millennium. And I'm trying to think, is is that when Resurrection came out? Right after that? Mm -hmm. Resurrection was like 2000. That's with Phil Collins, Take Me Home, right? Yeah. No, yeah. that was no, that was Thug World Order with uh, Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Resurrection had paper, paper on it. Paper, there. paper, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I believe that was 2000 because my first solo album came out 2001. So Resurrection was before that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. How, so what, so Mo Thug, the label at some point, did it dissolve? Uh, I wouldn't say it dissolved because I still kept repping it. Mm -hmm. um, I had did Mo Thug 3 and Mo Thug 4, you know, but Crazy had left at that time. Mm -hmm. Cause um, so after Mo Thug two, um, man, we went through some trying times too. I'm home court, just standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now, you gotta pay.